Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Here's the latest on the next rounds of stimulus. First, Steve Mnuchin at the time of this recording is talking to senators in what's seen as the possible final step in making a COVID deal. This is because Steve Mnuchin is the one who spearheaded the ending of the five CARES Act lending programs. And that ending of that program is what's currently holding up stimulus negotiations. Steve Mnuchin's talking to senators, probably on this. And if that meeting goes well, we could be done. Once we solve that one problem, we've got a COVID deal. Senator Coons thinks because of this that we could actually see a deal within the next hour to hours. Now, I'm not going to hold my breath. I mean, I got coffee. I'm ready for the day. We'll see what it brings. But this new deal will also have some very important consequences for the future of market crashes, which I'm going to touch on in a moment. So if you're an investor, you want to pay attention to this part as well. Nancy Pelosi spoke this morning on a private caucus call, a Zoom call, and stated that a deal is within reach as soon as we solve the Toomey provision. Again, what Mnuchin is talking about. So we're pretty dang close here. She, in fact, said, quote, everything will fall into place once we solve that. This means what we could do right now is we could take a quick look at what provisions are uh, currently included and what we expect to basically just get resolved almost instantly once we have the Toomey provision done. Uh, so let's just uh, take a quick look. We still don't have a, and you could pause on this. I'm just going to go fast here. We still don't have the text of the uh, 600 page bill. Uh, we're expecting the checks to be $600 per adult. Bernie Sanders really walked back his demand for $1,200. He kind of turned his demand into, I will uh, object to anything that doesn't provide substantial payments to families families. So he's kind of really walked back on, it's got to be $1,200. He's advocating for $1,200, but at the same time, he's saying, I'll only object unless there are substantial payments to families, which is so vague that it's probably going to include $600. Now, uh, we're still not sure if uh, if the double dip exemption will be in here. We'll see as soon as this bill comes out that if you're on unemployment, you may or may not be able to get a stimulus check. We do believe so far that if an ITIN family member is in a family, children and spouses will still qualify. Uh, unemployed, we're possibly going to see the unemployment boost go down to as low as 10 weeks. Honestly, just a slap in the face over here to the unemployed. Uh, I mean, we've gone from 16 to maybe 12 to 13 to now potentially as low as uh, as 10 weeks here. Uh, so then we've got on the, uh, you know, small business provisions, the same 325, EIDL included, PPP extension, uh, all of these other items the same. Again, you could pause here and screen shot uh, some of these provisions here. Still unsure if we're going to extend that eviction ban. I expect that they will because you need to give people time to actually process uh, potential eviction bailouts here since we are getting about $25 billion dollars in uh, rental assistance. So uh, then, of course, we'll find out what's going on with the SOS Act. That's $17 billion for uh, live venue operators, the FEMA funding, um, a lot of these smaller provisions, those will just get hammered out. The big issue really is, is just the Pat Toomey Amendment, the provision. This has to do with those five CARES Act lending programs. I've slammed these before. They were not very effective. They were more symbolic than they were effective. But honestly, it's coming down to politics. In fact, I wrote over here, Republicans right now are just trying to sort of bind Biden to show Republican support and voters that the purse strings have been tightened on Biden. You know, Republicans are keeping the thumb sort of on Biden. That's what they're trying to show off ahead of the January 5th election. Democrats say, look, well, look, you know, the purse strings weren't tight for Trump. When Trump inherited the pandemic, you know, all of a sudden it's like, oh crap, <laughs> you know, let's have these lending facilities at the Fed that introduces a lot of confidence to the market in coordination with the Treasury Department. And that was without the aid of Congress. The Fed was able to do that quickly. And so Democrats are like, why is it fair? that if Biden ends up having some kind of crazy crisis that pops up, he wouldn't have the same liberties. That's it. It's politics. You know, you get Ro Khanna saying there's no reason for this. It's ridiculous. Stop sabotaging the Biden administration. You get people like Elizabeth Warren saying, hey, the Fed is opposed to this. This isn't fair. And obviously that's what you're expecting from the Democrats. Republicans are like, we don't have this money to spend. Uh, why don't you just ask Congress? If there's a problem, hey, we'll act. But the reality is, the Federal Reserve during the pandemic, they acted like three and a half weeks before Congress got their butt moving. And, and I mean, quite frankly, who would you rather be driving an ambulance? Jerome Powell or Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi, all right? <laughs> like, I think we all agree. Let, just, just the programs don't matter. Just let the programs exist. Like, figure this out. This shouldn't be holding up the stimulus package. It's, it's really frustrating. But anyway, leadership's goal is to finalize a deal today because they're trying to vote on this tomorrow. The vote is scheduled for 1 p.m. tomorrow in the House, and we really need a deal today to actually be able to get that vote on time tomorrow. Senator John Thune, 
you know, he's usually not the most optimistic character. He says it's very possible that talks could extend uh, into Monday, but I'm starting to think that his lack of optimism is, is honestly just realism. Uh, so, well, mostly because Congress keeps missing every single deadline they set. Also not uncharacteristic, so maybe he's right. Anyway, if talks keep going, it's entirely possible we won't see a deal until like Christmas Eve or really the Wednesday before, so Wednesday, Thursday of next week, which if we go to next, you know, Wednesday, Thursday for a deal, probably not going to see checks this week. If we get a deal past, or this year rather, if we get a deal past this week, it's entirely possible that some of the first checks could go out uh, in, in sort of that last week of this year, right after Christmas. That is, it's entirely possible we could see stimulus checks, the first ones start arriving as early as the 29th. Now, I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Uh, who knows, but uh, we'll see. Now, uh, again, ambitious goal here to get a deal done today, but uh, that's, that's the latest in terms of what's going on this morning. I watched Mitch McConnell on the floor, Chuck Schumer on the floor. They didn't tell us anything new, no new state. It's really just leadership talking with each other right now about the Toomey Amendment. Uh, in other news, news yesterday, I did make a mistake. I mentioned that some people who had been diagnosed with Bell's palsy in the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine trials, uh, some of them were on a placebo. This was not true. Uh, the cases that where Bell's palsy did occur uh, did come from people who did actually receive the vaccine. So sorry about that. That was a mistake from yesterday's video. London is also going into an emergency lockdown, mostly because there's now a sign that there could be a new strain of COVID. COVID that spreads much faster than other strains of COVID. Now, so far, they're saying no need to panic, like this should have no impact on the vaccine that's going around. I mean, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but that was the first thing that popped in my head. That's just what they're saying, uh, but they are wanting to contain this because obviously everybody's not vaccinated yet. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Check out the courses down below. Get your life insurance, get your four free stocks, all with the links down below. Holiday sale going on on the courses. And folks, we'll see you as soon as we get a deal. Hopefully it is within the next few hours. I'm ready. Coffee's ready. Let's go.